hallelujah. Somebody is praising as your mother, your grandmother, your great-grandmother, your great-great-grandmother are praising God from heaven. I want you to join in their praise as we praise the Lord from down here. Hallelujah. For as the praises go up, somebody says blessings come down. As the praises go up, somebody says the power comes down. As the praises go up, somebody says the comfort comes down. As the praises go up, the joy, the peace, the love all come down. Hallelujah. 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 Anybody got a Mother's Day breakthrough today? Anybody got a Mother's Day breakthrough today? You came in one way, but hallelujah. <laughs> God's flipped the script and you're going to leave another way. Okay, look at somebody and say, glad I'm in church today. Streaming family, hallelujah. Glad you're in church today. And we give the Lord's name to praise the honor and the glory. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. As Brother Young said, it's been three years since we've had a chance to shout on a Mother's Day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you the Lord. Praise you the Lord. On this Mother's Day, we give the Lord's name, the honor, the praise, and the glory. <laughs> Anybody, when you think of the goodness of Jesus, clap your hands and all and he's done. Come on, praise the Lord. You want to clap this your Mother's hands. Day. Come on, give him glory. Clap. Come on, give him praise. Clap. Yeah. Clap. Give him glory in here. Come on, uh, give him praise. Uh, and clap. Hallelujah. It's about simple. You can praise him in a wheelchair. Hallelujah. You want to praise him for the straight God. Get him.
praise shape. Amen. Some of us have been out of praise shape for over two years. But can you look at somebody and tell my praise is back. My praise is back. When I think of what God has done for these last two years, my praise is back. When I thank God for how he's kept me and never, never left me, my praise is back. Hallelujah. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and on this Mother's Day, my praise is back. I used to have to watch it on streaming. I used to have a Mother's Day on Zoom. But hallelujah, when I think of all he's done, my praise is back. Matter of fact, can you look at somebody to your left and to your right and say, my praise is back. Hallelujah. 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 I had to oil my knees, but I thank God. Do I have anybody? You came in, your back was hurting a little bit. Your shoulders were aching a, a little bit. But now your praise is back. And if our sister could praise him in a wheelchair, what can stop you from praising what you got? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's done too much. He's brought me too far. He's kept me too long to hatch, to silence my praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just trying to have somebody remember all that God has done. He's kept you. Never, never let you work miracles for you and he's done things that only he can do and if you know that for yourself it's all right to praise him hallelujah 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 the bible said there were many women at the tomb including mary magdalene mary the mother of james and joseph Mary, the mother of the disciples, the sons of Zebedee, are you one of the many? If you're one of the many, can you give the Lord's name the praise? I'm not in Wikipedia, but I'm one of the many. I've never been on the news, but I'm one of the many. I'm one of the many that have given faith to my children. I'm one of the many who passed down a legacy to my children. That's what I want to preach about today. A mother's legacy. And if you know a legacy was passed down to you and you're passing it down to somebody else, can you give the Lord's name the honor, the praise, and the glory? It says that the women were at the tomb at the dawn. Does anybody know that the dawn is when light first appears, when you perceive something for the very first time? Did anyone have a mother that brought you to the dawn of your faith? It was just a seed. It was just an inkling. But now you ought to praise mom, praise grandma, giving you a dawn. And that legacy still travels with you today. And then it says there was an earthquake. Hallelujah. An upheaval. I thank God for what mothers have done for you and me. But I thank you. There's a legacy of mothers. Jerina Lee caused there to be a spiritual upheaval in the AME church. Hallelujah. Phyllis Sweetly caused there to be an upheaval in the intellectual capacity that was now known for black people. Hallelujah. Sojourner Truth caused there to be an upheaval that when she said, ain't I a woman? She was standing on the rights that all women have. Hallelujah. Ida B. Wells caused there to be a political upheaval as one of the founders of the NAACP. Hallelujah. We want to thank God for Madam C.J. Walker caused there to be an economic upheaval. And if you are a woman in business, we want to say thank God for the legacy of women like C.J. Walker. Yeah, I thank God for the legacy that was passed down by Michelle Obama, an upheaval. We built the White House, but until she got there, we hadn't lived in the White House. I thank God for the spiritual upheaval of Bishop Bastow McKenzie. Thank the Lord for the spiritual upheaval 
people of my wife, Co-Pastor Joanne Browning. I thank God for the upheaval in the judicial system of Judge Jackson. Do I have anybody that can thank God for the earthquake that black women have gained to this country and to this world? But then the Bible says that all of a sudden, yeah, that the Holy Ghost came and the women were the only ones to see angels. Yeah, our mothers have seen angels like Mary. They've seen angels like Elizabeth. They've seen angels. Can't you hear mama saying all day and all night angels have kept watch over you and if angels have kept watch over you it's because your mama has taught you something he told the, the women go tell the disciples tell them a teacher is somebody that tells you that teaches you yeah not just arithmetic not just english but does anybody you had a mama that taught you values did you have a mama that taught you strength? Did you have a mama that taught you courage? Did you have a mama that taught you faith? Yeah, when an angel comes, it allows our mamas and grandmamas and great-grandmothers to teach us something. But it doesn't stop there. It then says that Jesus appeared to the women. Yeah. They started worshiping him. Do I have any women on this Mother's Day when you think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for you and me? You can't do nothing but praise him, worshiping him. Well, Pastor, why were they praising him? Because they thought he was dead, but he was alive. Do I have any women? Do I have any mothers that thought something had died, but God showed you it ain't dead, it's still alive, forever shut eye and sleep, hallelujah, hallelujah, you thought your children were dead, you thought your future was dead, you thought your finances was dead. You thought your health was dead. You thought your breakthrough was dead. But the devil is a liar. God is still alive. I can feel him in my hands. I can feel him in my feet. I can feel him all over me. Do I have any worshiping? Do I have any praising? Mothers on this Mother's Day and that legacy has been passed down from generation to generation. If you're like Pastor Joe and I, our mothers are not on this side. They're on the other side. But I thank God that their legacy is not dead. Their legacy in you and me is still alive. So act like it. Pray like it. Believe like it. Praise like it. The worst thing you can do to honor your mother's legacy is to die yourself. But get up. Praise up. Live up so that your children and your children's children and your child's children will be able to say thank you for the legacy that has been left for you and me. If you thank God for a mother's legacy today, can you give the Lord's name the honor, the praise, and the glory? Can every mother stand? Can every woman of God stand right where you are? Can every woman of God stand right where you are? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you look at another sister and say, I've got a legacy. It was passed down to me and now I'm passing it to somebody else. And if you believe that for yourself, can you give the Lord's name, the honor, the praise, and the glory? It's in your DNA. It's your spiritual DNA, it's in you. And when you have a legacy that you're passing down, God says you've got courage. 
you've got bravery for through Christ no weapon formed against you is going to prosper do I have a witness in the house hallelujah talk to me Daisy Bates yes she was the one that kept the little rock desegregation schools going yeah she had that bravery despite white races calling her all kinds of names she stood there in little rock arkansas and look what god has done look at her sister and say you got it in you you got it in you you got it in you ella baker in the midst of the most racist in mississippi said i'm sick and tired of being sick and tired and she would allow voter registration to take place in the most difficult situations can you give the lord's name the praise you've got it in you hallelujah dorothy height they tried to keep her out the room in the civil rights movement but she refused and she bust open the door and said you ain't going to keep this black woman out somebody ought to say hallelujah you, you got Winnie Mandela in South Africa and they jailed her husband but she said that will not silence me you may have jailed him but I'm free at last free at last thank God Almighty I'm free at last does anybody know that Stacey Abrams is refused to back up yes a brother won but thank God she started it can I give the Lord's name the praise for all the women who have started something they may not have received the full reward but you've been able to see it pass on from generation to generation to generation. Can everyone stand all of the church today? For we celebrate the women of God on this day. Without you, we would be nothing. But with you, can I get a witness? You can tell somebody I'm something now. <laughs> I'm not all I'm supposed to be. But thank God because as Pastor Joanne shared, because of a mother's prayers, I'm not what I used to be. And I declare by faith that the best is yet to come. Do I have a witness in the house? Everybody who's saved, can you just wave a hand? <laughs> I guarantee you it didn't come by yourself. You want to look up to heaven or just say thank you? It was a mama, a mama's prayer. Yeah, you didn't get that by yourself. Nah, a mama instilled that in you. A woman of God instilled that in you. And if that's you, can you say thank you, Jesus? Hallelujah.